Hi everyone, it's Shannon here for Honey Bee Stamps. In today's video, we are going to create a birthday card. This card features the awesome Riding By Stamps and Dies, as well as the Bicycle Builder Honey Cuts. I'm going to start today's card by building the bicycle, so I'm going to be using the Bicycle Builder Die that you see here. I'm going to start with a piece of mirrored silver cardstock, and I'm going to die, die cut that wheel as well as the handlebars out of that. This will really mimic that look of a real bicycle, which is pretty cool. Then I'm going to grab the actual body of the bicycle and die cut it out of some kind of mustard cardstock. I'll use this off-white or cream cardstock for the basket. Black for the actual tire of the car, of the bicycle, and then I'm going to die cut the bicycle tire out of white cardstock, the little handlebar pieces, and kind of that center spoke part for the bicycle wheel out of white cardstock. Okay, so now I'm going to do one more thing to that white tire. I'm going to die cut it with a circle die. This circle die is approximately two and an eighth of an inch, and that's going to basically cut that circle or that ring down in half, so I have a smaller ring, and this is going to add a nice detail to that black tire, really mimic kind of an old-fashioned looking tire. So first thing I'm going to do is grab that white piece and add some liquid adhesive to the back side. Now this is a very thin piece of cardstock, so I am going to grab a scrap piece of paper here, just tap that uh, adhesive side down onto that scrap and that removes some of that excess adhesive so I don't get it everywhere and then just adhere it onto that black tire. Now I will add some liquid glue to the back side of that tire and add it onto the actual wheel, that mirrored cardstock wheel. Then I'll take that little white kind of spoke there, add liquid adhesive to that, add that to the center of the wheel, and then glue down my white parts of the handlebar and then I will glue down that silver part of the handlebar on to the body of the bike. I'm not going to actually adhere the body to the tire. I will do that later. So there's my finished bike. Now I'm going to move on to kind of a detail for the background. I'm going to make a rainbow using the slimline thin frames die. Just use that one side of it there to die cut um, some colored cardstock down to some strips and then I'm going to adhere the strips down onto this larger strip of white cardstock. It's about three and a fourth of an inch wide and I'm just going to add some liquid adhesive all over it and then just grab my strips here and start sticking them right down on to that uh, white cardstock. Now it's a little bit, um, it's going to be a little bit thinner than once all these strips are kind of stacked up back to back which is intentional so that way you don't see any of that white cardstock underneath. That's just, that white cardstock is there just to kind of hold them all in place. So I'm just do, layering, layering these uh, strips one next to the other and finish up here with my last pink strip here. And this makes a really fun rainbow detail to add to the background. So now that this is all done and stuck down, I'm going to move on to actually creating the background. So I have a panel of light blue cardstock. I actually cut it down a little bit smaller than an A2 panel. It's actually four by five and a half. So I had that nice little white detail uh, that you can see on the, when you adhere it onto your card base, you have a little white border or kind of white edge. I think that's a nice detail. I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back side of my rainbow, stick it down onto that blue panel, and then just trim off the excess here with a pair of scissors. Once I've got that trimmed down, I'll then add some adhesive to the back side of my panel and then glue it down onto my A2 top folding white White card base and again you can see that nice little white detail on the left I think that adds a lot to a lot of interest to the card front now we're gonna move on to these images I did stamp them with the writing by stamp set in intense black ink from honeybee stamps and now I'm going to Copic color them the colors I'm using are on screen so you can follow along for these packages, I started with E30, which is my light. Now I'm on E31 for my medium shade. For my darker shade, I'm using E35, just kind of coloring in where a shadow would be. Then I'm going to go back and blend it out with E31, and then finish with my lightest, which is E30. This just creates a nice gradation over those packages. Doing a little cleanup here with my colorless blender. And then I'm going to move on to these envelopes, starting with BG10, just to add a little shadow. And then I'm going to use that same BG10 for the base on this balloon and then my darker color is BG34 here kind of use that feathering stroke to get nice um, light edges with that dark and then go back over with that BG10 just to get a nice gradation moving on to my yellow balloon starting with Y00 then Y08 for my dark and then blending it out with that Y00 
My next one is my pink balloon starting with RV21 for my light. Here I have a medium which is RV23 and then my dark is RV25. And then I'll go back through my medium and my dark shades here just to get a nice gradation over that pink balloon. Now we're moving on to the orange, just two shades here starting with YR04 for my base or my light and then moving on to my darker shade which is YR07. Again kind of using that feathering uh, technique which is like a lighter kind of lift and flick when you get to the tip of your, or the edge of where your dark is going to be to get kind of a feathered look. That helps to make your gradation better or easier to blend out. Here for the red I started with R22 and then R24 for my dark. Now for this balloon, uh, this is kind of like my darker blue balloon. I have two uh, blues picked out, a big jump between these two shades. So I do kind of go back over this and blend this out a lot. My lighter shade here is B24 and my darker shade is B29. Now I'm just doing going back over and kind of cleaning up and smoothing out the, blend, the blends a little bit more. And once I finish with my Copic markers, I'm going to grab my white gel pen here and just add kind of like a little shine to the edges of the balloons. This will make it look a little bit more dimensional and even a little shine onto my brown packages. So now that that's all done and Copic colored, I went ahead and die cut those out. Now I'm ready to kind of arrange everything. I already have my bicycle arranged here. Now I'm just finishing up by arranging my balloons. Once I get those kind of all arranged, I will then put my basket in place. They kind of overlap those balloons, so I gotta do those first. So I'm gonna put my basket and my packages down. And once I get those in place, I'm going to grab a big piece of press and seal because nothing is actually stuck down here. All these pieces are just arranged over my card base. And I'm going to use that press and seal to kind of pick everything up so I don't have to arrange them again. This is such a handy tool for card making for sure. So I'm just going to go over and press on all those die cuts so they are secure on that press and seal. And then I'm going to grab a pencil because I'm going to add some strings to those balloons. So I'm kind of carefully lifting up um, the press and seal, lifting up those balloons, and just drawing a pencil line to where... I think a string would be. Then I will go ahead and remove all my die cuts and then grab a marker and just draw or write right over the, that pencil line to darken it and make a make my balloon strings. And once I finish with the marker, I will of course erase with an eraser those pencil lines. So now I'm going to move on to adding some support behind my um, the body of my bicycle. I went ahead and die cut that body of the bicycle four times out of white cardstock. This is just scrap white cardstock. And I'm trimming off that part where the bike would overlaps with the, the uh, tire. The first thing I'm going to do is adhere two of those bicycle bodies to the back side of my bicycle. I'm doing this to support that bicycle because right now that tire is two thicknesses. It has the uh, spoke part, the kind of silver mirrored cardstock part, and then the black tire part. And so to kind of compensate so this sits nice and level on my card base, I have to glue down two of those body parts just to compensate for the wheel. Now, because I have that rainbow, which is two cardstocks thick, I need to do two more bicycle parts. I am cutting off a little part of this part of the bicycle where it kind of goes uh, around the tire because that part touches the rainbow. So I want to make sure that that area there is doesn't have any cardstock. So, and then I'll just adhere those two last remaining bodies of the bicycle, and that will make sure that I compensate for the thickness of the rainbow. Now for the tire, you, you can see here that tire goes over that rainbow. And again, that rainbow is two cardstocks thick. I need to do two cardstock uh, thick sections on the wheel here. So I am trimming down these wheels that I die cut out of some white, scrap white cardstock. And just trimming down so I have a little kind of arched strip at the top and the bottom of the wheel because that's the part that's not in contact with the rainbow. So I want to make sure I build those up. So again, this sits nice and level on to my card front here. And I'll just finish this up with a, this bottom part here with my last strip. And now my, my tire is pretty much ready to go. Now also you can see here we have our sentiment. That sentiment comes in contact with that rainbow as well. 
So again, I'm going to pop that up or pop off, pop up the parts that aren't in contact with the rainbow that kind of hanging off the rainbow with two layers of cardstock. So I went ahead and die cut the, use the matching die for the sentiment, die cut some white cardstock, and I'm going to trim off the edges. So where, where it says special, kind of at the SP, um, SPEC part and then delivery kind of the end of that word is what I'll keep and adhere on to the back side of my sentiment and again I'm just doing this to support it because of that extra thickness from the rainbow um, but I would always but for the body of the bicycle I would always do two layers because you always end up doing two layers for the tire but here I'm doing a little bit more because of that rainbow that I'm going over so now we have our basket and our balloons. Now the basket to be level with the bicycle now has to be four pieces of cardstock thick. So I have these strips of about a quarter inch cardstock and I'm just layering them one on top of the other so I get the thickness of four. Um, four, four pieces of cardstock actually is pretty thick. You could probably get away with um, with even foam adhesive for this instead. So I'm just going to cut that down to some smaller strips and just adhere those to the back side of the basket and the packages and that will make it level with the bicycle. Now I'm going to look closely at my balloons here, how, how I have them arranged and my balloon that is that has a, uh, several balloons layered on top of it, that is going to get the four um, layer of uh, thickness. So I have two balloons with that so I adhere those strips down. Now I have to make a three thickness strip so I'm adhering three uh, thicknesses of strips of uh, paper cardstock together and I'm going to do that for all the balloons that only have like kind of one um, balloon kind of layering on them. You're going to just have to look at your balloons and kind of figure this out. Of course you can just forgo this kind of fun um, way to get different you know dimensions on your balloons and just do them all one layer which is definitely a lot easier and would look beautiful too so don't feel like you have to do this and then for my last balloon the one that's kind of um, behind the most that one gets just two layers of cardstock so I'm just going to hear that to my balloon and now I actually have all of my dimension done and I'm just going to add liquid adhesive all to the back side of all of that dimensional kind of strips and layering that I did with the die cuts stick this guy down and then just hold it here for a second give it a minute for that liquid glue to kind of set up and hold those die cuts in place and then I'll carefully remove that press and seal and that will actually be the end of my card my card will be complete so a lot of work getting it all layered up but I think it's totally worth it because it's gonna be really supported well and it's gonna mail beautifully and here I'll hold up to the camera so you can get a good look at this finished card I love how this card turned out. It has such a fun birthday feel with those bright colors. And that bicycle is so cool. That die just makes it the coolest bicycle. And it has even a little retro feel, which just makes me so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.